Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to add chapters to your video. This is a decently new feature. It came out about a month and a half ago. And so what I mean by that is these are the chapters down here. So see how you can see now each uh, basically indexed, they're called chapters on the video. And so basically the reason why you'd want to do this is obviously so somebody watching your video can just you know, go, oh, hey, this is general information or hey, this is cons without having to scroll down to the actual index in your description. So it just makes it easier for, you know, your viewer to figure out what's in the video and, you know, keep their retention longer because that way they can just skip to whatever part they want without having to scroll down. They can just see it right here. And it's nice that it has the actual, like, separating lines. So I guess that's why they call them chapters. That way you can just see what's, what exactly is going on in the video straight from the uh, timeline here, the time timestamp. So the way you do this, it's very simple. I'm just going to go to edit this video real quick. And in the edited video, the key thing is to, you need to have the timestamp at zero seconds. So this here. So if I change this real quick to one second and save it. And if we go back, uh, I guess we'll just do this. Go back to the video. Now you'll notice that it's not there. So that's, that's the big key is to have it, <clears throat> have it at zero seconds. So another thing too to note is as long as the zero seconds is here, whatever is after should show up. So you can have the dash in there, like I had it and you can see it, but if you get rid of the dash and you save it, and if we go back again to the video, then you'll still see the chapter. So if I just scroll down here to the actual description, so now it's just with the space, no dash, and you can still see the <clears throat> the chapters. And actually, you know what? I'm going to try one other thing. I only have one space here, but if I try doing two spaces and save it, let's see if it still does it. Save the video. We'll go back here and watch it again. And it's still there. So let's make sure. So there's two spaces there. So the, like I said, the key information is just to have your index start at zero seconds. If you don't have that, then it's not going to work. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I think it's a pretty convenient feature. Um, I'm definitely using it from now on for all my videos that I have indexes on. That way people can just skip to whatever they want. So I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.